Oh, okay. Are, are you are you ready? This is the speech recognizer class. Um, I built this class for .dot net 4.71. I it has a ton of extra methods uh, to auto manage the shared uh, speech recognition engine, and it builds on .dot net framework 4.71. Uh, I just made a basic console application with some automated responses. Uh, the source code, I'll just release uh, speechrec.cs down here uh, for C Sharp and Visual Studio. Insert your handlers down here. You can have them fire off whatever. Um, I recommend that if you're building your application, Okay, sorry about that. My headphones died. <laughs> okay, I recommend that if you're building a .NET application, you a uh, .NET Core, excuse me, that you pack this as a hidden console window so that you can use both frameworks simultaneously. Just uh, pipe std in. Uh, send your commands through the speech synthesizer and you'll be able to use the output in a .NET Core application um, by starting a hidden command window process in another thread um, just to make it thread safe. Um, that's what I do often when I need to mix and mux things. I have another class that I work with uh, that will kind of kind of do that. It'll just uh, it, it's just a basic uh, .NET 471 any features I need I can put them right in .NET Core by just piping SCD in and string parsing on an event riser so um, I'm gonna go ahead and just rebuild this project uh, it's gonna say I should actually rebuild just so you can see success there uh, I just got some crap down here and I'm gonna select a release build it's gonna generate an exception the first time because it needs to be run as administrator which I don't know why this is a thing but it corrects the issue so now what has happened is it has started the uh, Microsoft speech synthesizer which is up top there and this is better than going and getting like dragon naturally speaking or some kind of crazy expensive API like using Google or Amazon. It's free. It's included in Windows 10 Pro. Uh, so like this is the best solution I found. So I can just, um, you can actually configure this to auto listen to your voice. Um, it's, it's all registry settings. You can have your application change those if you wish. You can uh, write to your registry um, provided a uh, user is okay with uh, writing to, <laughs> writing to um, the registry by running it as an administrator. Otherwise, just uh, do it this way. So, made a release binary. First time, I don't know why the come component crashes, why it does that, but um, I'm going to go ahead and start this up and you'll see what happens when I say one of these commands that I've got here. Hello. And it responds correctly why hello there so that is my case hello and if I say hi hi Ooh, I should most definitely hi <laughs> and I'll go ahead and give it another command do me Hi. 
So you'll see there that it's formulated responses by using the Windows Speech Recognition API, which is really cool because you can actually capture this output through an STD in capture. Um, so if you have another application that you need spe speech recognition in, it's very easy to pack this as an assembly uh, somewhere along the line. And, and I just love it. Uh, this was actually to show TJ because I was excited I got this shit working. So that's it. That is uh, system speech from the .NET Core. I'm not, sorry, not system speech from the .NET 4.7.1. API, beautiful stuff, SDK. Uh, I'm not using the right terminology right now. I'm too excited. I'm gonna go play around with this.